Indy Slot Car Channel welcomes you to this presentation of the Indy Slot Car Series. Seems how we had our last race set, but it's a whole new weekend. Now you're back on a different atmosphere. Absolutely, you know, these drivers, they wanted a second bite at the apple at this track. And look at this, it's a Halloween Havoc race. And uh, Dean Strong, he's going to disguise as a points leader in the championship league. A very scary one at that, too. And, and not only this race is held at Corey Huggins, but that racetrack is uh, under the COVID uh, restrictions. So we're here in Los Bank. All right, speeds are up here. And speaking of things that are up, how about the intensity between Dean Strong and that, that old squirrel team, the super high intensity team? with John Weedman, Mike Black, Matt Hyatt. Those three guys got to step up because Tom is kicking their own. It's a full field tonight. Ten cars, the one of the biggest fields I've had since the opening. Absolutely right. So expect those SHIT guys because this is a home track to do a good team, good race. And it's a scary situation with some scary drivers. And uh, Do you know, Bravo, we are at the lock track and this is Halloween Havoc. Dan Townsend, I don't think he's in the play. This one scares everybody here. You've got a new track record. That is my clock. 37,000 indie soccer dollars on the line. Here's somebody that's not as scary, but everybody's happy for this guy. He is. He's a happy guy. He's a happy, he's a happy guy. He's a big pumpkin. Steve Restford on the grid. John Weedman. Oh, my. That is Bill Black. This car is lined up backwards. What, Dan, what is happening with that one? Well, that's Dan Margot. Every two last three races, you can beat him with one hand. Type on his oh, but can he beat him going backwards? That is Dan Margetta. He lines up alongside Team Maybelline. Mike Kristoff. The pretty car. Man, I, this whole row is... Not happy with him with each other. The X, the big time the X, they're right next to each other. Isn't and it? he didn't even get half the assets. That is Dean Strong. That's Pete Dorn. Yeah. I'm looking over my shoulder. Pete oh, Dorn's yeah. our friend. This man riding shotgun on the field. Coming from the back is Ev Kamakawa. This is the Halloween Havoc. Heat race number one. And this is a real wild card of a first heat race. We are looking at the top three in points. Facing off, you've got Mike Lack, Dean Strom, who leads, then Matt Hayek, and then Ev Kamakawa, who qualified dead last in this thing and somehow wound up three of the faster guys in qualifying, and he's struggling out there early. Hayek right now holds a, a small lead over Mike Lack. Dean Strom trying to extend that streak of three straight finals to open the season. Oh, and a big crash right there for Hayek. Under a minute left. It's about a half a lap from Hayek right there. Black right there. There is a transfer spot available, so it's possible they score enough laps to advance regardless of winning this heat, but you certainly want to guarantee. And the pole sitter was Mike Black, right? He's got that pole honey on the line. A win would guarantee him in the final. Exactly. Huge pot, 37,000 Indy slot car bucks up for grabs. Nobody's won from the pole this season yet. Last few seconds, it looks like Matt Hayek is going to hold on. But Lack is chasing him down. Time runs out, and Hayek holds on over Lack. That's the second heat race. And tonight, Halloween Havoc, 2020-2021 style. Who will join Matt Hike and potentially Mike Lack in the final? Well, let's see who is competing right now. You've got John Wiedemann. He is the third member of that super high-intensity team. Then over here, you've got Dan Margetta and the fabulous Mike Kristoff, El Matador. Only a heat of three, so the winner will definitely go on to the final. And then it is the highest of the second place finishes in terms of laps who makes it in. It's known as the transfer spot. Right now, that's presently held by Mike Lack. So far, it's Weedman, Christoph Margetta. Margetta just announced he took his brakes off. And when that happens, folks... He is fast. Don't forget, he's the all-time wins leader. Not sure what to give out for Halloween this year? Try Husky Chocolate. <laughs> uh, 
About 30 seconds to go. Mike Kristoff on the tail end of the lead lap as John Wiedemann. He's got to get around and past him. And there we go. That, put, that puts paid to his chances. John Wiedemann's a crafty veteran. He's not going to give up the lead that easy. He's why he's your champion from last year. Ten more seconds, and it'll be the first time this year that all three members of the super high intensity racing team will go to the final. There it is. Wiedemann wins. Third heat race has started now. Let's see who will go to the final to join that super high intensity team. You've got Pete Dorn starting on the outside. Over there, you've got Bill Black and Steve Rist. They're going to try and make sure that they can all get into the final. So if one of these guys can beat more than 131 laps, they'll be in the final and not Mike Lack. That 25 seconds to go. Bill Black was charging Steve for the lead. He was charging for the heat win. He was charging for the transfer. He got tangled up with his teammate, unfortunately, with Pete against the wall. That's going to cost him plenty of time. And unfortunately, there's only 10 seconds to go. He needs three laps to go. It is going to be extremely, extremely close. There's about eight seconds to go. Six seconds. <laughs> Steve Rist, your winner. He's going to his final. All right, here we go. Lee Skippy down on the grid run for your Halloween Havoc. And look at this. It's the super high-intensity team. All three members. Gentlemen, don't sanitize your comments Did you for us press. Here we go. Sanitize that. There we are, gentlemen. So, John Wiedemann, you are the champion. And uh, what do you, you got to be proud of this the first time all three of you together. Did you touch this? It's a mess. <laughs> yeah, we're, happy. we're all happy to be here in the, in the final. First time for the three of us. So, got, got a good shot. The other guy... He used to be one of us, uh, left us, I don't know why he left. But anyway, he, uh, he's got a pretty fast car, but we got three of us, so we'll see what we can do. All right. Now your pole sitter for tonight, the other member of that team, uh, another champion on the team, Mike Lack, and you're hoping to clean up against all these guys, oh, right? Boy, that's been it. Uh, you just sanitized, it'll be clean. No, that's gross. Well, there you go. You think that's gross? Well, I bet you got something for uh, your teammates on the track here, right? I sure hope so, because uh, speaking of gross, I'd like to hold on to that... Uh, Pull award money. There's a lot of it tonight. Matt Hayek, your first final with these guys. It is, it is. It's going to be exciting. I have a seventh place car. I'm in the final, so hey, we'll go for here. Steve Rist, uh, you're looking to stick a fork into those guys. We'll get them, that's for sure. Um, my other teammate couldn't make it, so one of us has to. So. <laughs> there you go. So that it is. He's, gonna, he's got one guy against the three shitty guys. 20 minutes for the Halloween Havoc, the second half of a lack track doubleheader. Early lead. Mike Lack, but right next to him, Steve Rist. Main highlight here at the lack track has always been the famous End It All Cafe. Called End It All Cafe because of his close proximity to the racing surface and the racing action. I see they come flying by here as Mike Lack continues to lead here in the Halloween Havoc. And closing in on halfway. Mike Lack continues to lead. But John Wiedemann has been moving up into second place. Steve Rist running third. Matt Hayek struggling in that NTT data car. John Wiedemann has a little issue down there in the far corner along with Steve Rist. And uh, well, there's a problem for Lack. Ooh, the Superman has a problem here on his own track. That don't happen very often. And uh, let's see how that runs down the standings as Steve Rist and John Weedman are closing in. The fans here at uh, the LAC track always getting into the action. We had a little bit of a, a issue over here in the water tower. We'll see. Uh, there's a guy there on his, sitting there on his, like, a lawn chair watching the race. Looks like he's been busy during this race. He's got his old can of spray paint out and uh, kind of marked up the water tower here at the LAC track. One lap lead for Mike Lack. There's Lack in the blue and orange car. Here comes Rist in the black and green car. That's the difference. A lap plus that with three minutes to go. There's time to catch him if he can do it. Here he comes again. Steve Rist is on the lead lap. There is nothing between them two right now but trace track. There is your leader, Mike Lack. Here comes Steve Rist. Pulling away at three tenths a lap quicker. Turning in quicker lap times. Cutting into Mike Lack's lead. With just about under a minute to go. 
And there is no pressure now for... Oh, and Lack crashes. Lack's got a spin. That is going to make it interesting. Here comes this, but he's got the teammate John Whedon to deal with. Super high intensity team. Really putting the super high intensity of them right now. But here he comes. Wrist is not phased. Reason's going to race him. Here comes Lack. This is for the lead. Oh, they crashed. They took each other out. We saw it right there. Weedman and, and wrist touched and Lack went out. That could have been a $37,000 mistake from the super high intensity team. All oh, super high intensity team. As Steve Wrist takes the lead late in this race, looking for his first ever victory here in the Indy Slot Car Series. With a minute to go, Steve Rist is, is not taking it easy. He's mixing it right up with these super high-intensity team drivers. He's gonna, trying to put a, a lap on Mike Lack, but he's got the other, the third member, the third wheel of that team, so to speak, so far. A jam car is tonight is Matt Hayek, who is running full throttle. Right there, you see Matt Hayek's full throttle on it, but no brakes. Hammer down all the way. That car handles well, but it's just not fast. But a two up lead. They're touching wheels there. You see Hayek and, and Wrist. This is very risky for Steve Wrist as we come down to the end of this race. He, he has yet to put it all together and get a victory. It could be here as Lack has another problem right here in the corner. The first win could be coming down. Five seconds. And this guy, the great pumpkin Charlie Brown, comes to the race and he could be in for his first career victory. There it is. Steve Wrist is a winner in the Indy Soccer Series. He takes Takes down the six-time champion and the whole super high-intensity team. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020-2021 winner of the Halloween Havoc, Steve Rist. And not since the days of when Tony Perkins beat the entire Penske team. And we had one guy beat an entire team. Here's that fork. I told you to stick it in those guys. You might want to have them sign it. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, quite the surprise. Uh, the first half was... Quite uh, horrific, actually. But you're being a bit modest here. You had a fast car. You must have known somebody you could beat him. <laughs> uh, I was just hoping I could reel him in in the second half. You know. So let's bring in our trophy presentation with uh, the track owner Mike Lack. Well, normally I don't hand this trophy out. That's normally Matt Lack, but uh, it's an honor to give Steve, the guy that we brought into this league, <laughs> his first win trophy. Ooh. Way to go, buddy. My guy is And, of course, you get the winner flag signed by all the drivers tonight. So what do you think? Is this now a precursor? Do we have another title challenger in you? Well, hopefully. Um, it just depends on whether we can get the car going great every race. He's being modest, folks, but he's a rookie. That's win number one in his career. There's probably many more. And you know where we're going to next? We're going to a place where lots of people can win, and that is Turtle Creek Raceway Park. The Indy Slot Car Series thanks you for watching the Indy Slot Car Channel. Sparkle Pony Christoph. That's I mean, just because a guy has a thong underwear on and he likes to feel pretty and prance around. And... All right, let's get to the next car. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes.